Hey guys, welcome to the Sharon Homestead. I'm Kat and today I am going to be planting some fall crops in the garden and in the ground. Well, maybe not today, but I'm getting prepared to do it. I'm in the greenhouse right now. I just brought my plants out earlier today out in front of the greenhouse. And now I'm bringing them to the garden, which is all the way across the yard. But it is raining really hard, like I said, so I can't use my camera. So I'm just going to do it and then I'm going to see what I can get done. I don't know what I can get accomplished today because it's raining pretty hard now. And I just want to get what I can done. But if I can't, I'll come back tomorrow and finish it. It's supposed to rain a lot tomorrow, but I think I'll get some chances that I can come out here and plant. The weather is supposed to be really nice. So I'm going to try to get my tunnels. Well, I'm going to do one tunnel. Um, and I'm going to try to get that up. And then I'm going to plant in two raised beds. And then one is still, it's got peppers and tomatoes. And so I can't plant in those because they're still going strong. Really, really strong. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take you along with me as much as I can. So I, let's, let's get going. And I did want to show you the green beans did pretty well over here. And then the kale. And then this is loofah that's climbing up. I know I don't have enough time, but those three ducks, come get them. They're so loud. And there's one shelf full of plants. And then there's another shelf over there. So I'm going to take this shelf down to the garden. And that's some comfrey that I'm growing. So I'm going to get this shelf up to the garden up there with that other shelf and then get started on planting or go inside and take a break. <laughs> guys so what I've got accomplished so far is I am clearing the paths which is I mow it and then you know I weed the stuff around the beds Mom, no we're not gonna take the pumpkins down yet and then this garden is the tomatoes and peppers and they've just gone crazy and I've just been letting them I picked some tomatoes I'm clearing the path which means I have to tie up the peppers these are cayenne peppers back there and they're crazy and then these are all cherry tomatoes and I don't know if you can see the amount of cherry tomatoes that are on there but it makes me think I'm just gonna go ahead and take out the big tomato plants and put the cauliflower in right there so this bed right here do not pee or poop in my beds 
This bed is all broccoli, and then that's a cauliflower plant that I need to plant. And this is kale. These are these are zucchini. These are the cauliflower that need to be planted. And then that Swiss chard that's been growing all year. And I'm uncovering the blueberry plants, which we got a pretty good crop out of this year. And I'm taking down a bunch of blackberry vines or uh, canes that were all over this path. And I'm going to put down weed fabric and mulch. That's what's in the paths. And I only have gotten a few little weeds like this one. So it's been really, really nice. So I'm going to, and I'm going to clear this planter out. It does have, I'll show you. It does have some strawberries and I might put those at the edge of the raised bed so that eventually it'll just take over the raised bed. And my daughter found the, this earlier and I don't know what it is. It's little red, let's see if it'll focus. It's little red eggs of some type. Tell me if you know what that is. So I'm gonna clear this planter out and I think I'm gonna put my lavender in there. And then I just have to clear a little bit more in here. This is oregano. These are blackberry canes. And then this is lavender, which I'm gonna put in that planter. And I need to put weed fabric down here and mulch. And then I'll just have a giant square right here that has. Mama, I'm talking to you. Hold on, baby. Come over here. Uh, those are tomatoes that I mowed over, whoops. Um, I'll just have a big square that goes all the way around the garden. And it'll be nice. There are blueberry plants. There's four here, so there's one there. There's one. There's cages where the black the blueberry plants are. But they're they got taken over with weeds. It the weeds grow really fast around here. So especially this time of year. And I just kinda let the garden grow. Haven't wanted to be outside much. It's been too hot. So that's how the garden is going. <laughs> So I, I staked up all the peppers. I want you guys to see this craziness. Every time I grow these cayenne peppers, I'm amazed at how prolific they are. They are so tall and so big. And yes, I know they're in a raised bed, but um, yeah. And then this pepper, which gets the most sun uh, and the most, I don't know, whatever. It is huge. This is a, um, let me see if I can show you. It's a bell pepper. It's a purple bell pepper. And I am having problems with army worms. I think that's what this poop is. Can you tell me? This is poops from something. Anyways, look, these peppers are so pretty. And I've gotten a bunch of those. Those ones are darker. They are so gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure that I got these from Mary's Heirloom Seeds. They're just purple bell peppers. There's probably like a different name for them, like Scarlet or something like that. I don't know. But, but I am really loving them. They taste so good. And I am loving them. But I am going to finish. I'm trying to tie up. Ooh, yummy. Delicious. I'm trying to tie up these tomatoes. They are like 10 feet tall and I'm not exaggerating. They're so big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up the post then down the other side and see if that works. First, I'm gonna have a snack. <laughs>
done. I've put in several hours worth of work. These are cauliflower. And we've got these sun sugar um, tomatoes were delicious, are delicious. I'm gonna keep snacking on them. See, I've just, I pretty much just had to drape them back and forth, like weave them back and forth because they're so long and every bit of them have little cr clusters. I saw two tomato hornworms. I'm gonna watch for those, oh, there's another one. They're hard to see. I'm probably gonna come out here with a black light tonight if we have one. I, I don't know if these things sting, but I hope not because actually I can break this off. Okay, we're gonna take this to the chickens. Um, okay, so I've got the peppers are tied up now. There's two tomato plants that are really tall. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And then I do need to plant these cucumbers, but I've, what I've noticed is cucumbers need a lot of water and the raised beds just suck the water right out. They don't hold water well, at least not mine. So, so I'm gonna plant those in the ground, um, probably over there where those plants are. I took the tarp up because I don't need it. I had enough space for everything I wanted to plant. Well, want is a big word. Everything I needed to plant because I already bought. My beautiful comfrey that I got from Heirloom Permaculture. I've seen other people that planted the same. Actually, I think my friend that got it from me. And hers are huge. But I don't think I've watered mine enough. This is all kale I showed you earlier. Alright guys, I got done in the garden. I think there was one other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to put down the paper. And then put in mulch that I have in the greenhouse and that's it for the fall garden I'm pretty excited to have that done and checked off my list thank you guys for coming along with me today thank you for watching I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video